Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my very first Halloween tutorial. And today's Halloween tutorial is going to be a vampire makeup. Now it's going to be super simple and it's really, really a great tutorial. It's really easy and it's kind of like a modern, pretty, traditional, well not really traditional, because traditional vampires are really ugly, but no offense to all you vampires out there, but um, it's going to be like a modern, really pretty makeup tutorial. And it's using just a few things that are really inexpensive. I'll have all the products listed in the description box below. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. So if you guys fall, like if my camera falls, don't be surprised. So I'm going to be starting off with the face. Now for the face, I'm going to start off with my foundation. Now I'm not a fan of using white foundation and I really don't have a white foundation because I don't like it because it makes my face look pasty but I'm using the lightest shade of foundation I have and that's the All May Smart Shade Anti-Aging Makeup Face Makeup and this is in Light 100 and I'm going to take this on the back of my hand just about that much just like a dollop and I'm going to take my foundation brush and concealer brush. Now we're only going to want to apply this just on areas where we need it. You don't want to apply this on the dark circles because if you do then it's not going to look too realistic. It's going to look like a vampire but it's not going to look like a true vampire because true vampires don't get much sleep so they don't they have a lot of dark circles. You could also use a stippling brush. This foundation brush is the only one I own so it has to do. And you want to make sure that you go downwards That way you can cover every last crevice on the face. Okay, so that's that for the foundation. If you hear some noise in the background, just don't worry about it. Uh, I'm using, for powder, I'm using my Avon Smooth Minerals Powder Foundation in Translucent Glow, or Transparent Glow. And this is actually a translucent powder but um, it's like it really comes to me as if it's like the li a really light like almost white powder foundation so it adds a lightness to your face that I love and it makes your face look whiter and brighter like ghostly white than any other powder. Um, so that's that for that. For blush and bronzer or blush or just bronzer by itself. Um, I'm using the Color Workshop Perfect Images palette and I'm going to be using some of these blush shades right here. The shade that I'm going to be using to contour is this shade. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of that on this brush. This is a contour brush. I'm going to tap off the excess to make sure I don't have too much. I'm going to suck in my cheeks. And I can't talk while I'm sucking my cheeks. And I'm going to kind of sweep it downwards and then blend it out with this brush. Ready? Here we go. like that. 
So that's that for the cheek contour for for the highlight on the cheeks we're going to use the same contour brush but I'm going to dip it into a bright white shadow and apply this right along the tops of the cheekbones um, for the actual blush color that was just the bronzer but for like a pink color I'm going to use the darkest shade I have I'm going to be using this shade. I'm going to just take a little bit of this because you don't want much smile to find the natural smiling, to find your natural apples. And apply this on for a rosy glow. Vampires normally have a nice rosy, glowy complexion, but that's just because they have that perfectly bright white skin, and most of them don't have too much pigmentation to them, but they like to use a lot of makeup products to make their face look beautiful or the women do I think so yeah that's for the cheeks and the face now moving on to the eyebrows for the eyebrows we're going to shape them because vampires have really strong brows and that's their most awesome feature so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grayish brownish shade I don't know if you can see but it's that one and we're going to be contouring my brows and defining them to add more of a sheen. Well, not really sheen, but to add more fullness to them. They can be dramatic if you want them to. I'd just rather focus on going subtle. Because I don't like when my brows are so dramatic that they overwhelm my whole face. I hardly define my brows, but when I do, I like to lightly do it so they're less noticeable, but still stand out. And I'm, I'm forgot to blend out my blush. That's why I look like a big clown with big pink cheeks and full eyebrows. <laughs> um, but I promise everything looks fine in the end result. Um. For the eyes, of course, as always, you want to prime your lids using any kind of primer you have. I'm just using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. For the shadows, now I have not figured out what shadows I'm going to use. But I know I'm going to be using this Avon duo and these two shades. So I'm going to be using purples and mauves to get that really classical, nice, beautiful look. For this look, we're going to be using a lot of fluffy brushes. So you might want to have like a bunch on hand. For example, we're going to be using some brushes like this. Angled fluffy brushes and blending brushes and just regular eyeshadow brushes. So definitely have a lot of brushes on hand just for safety purposes, should I say. <laughs> Not really safety purposes, just, but just, you know, just because. Um, so, as you can tell, I have a lot of angled shadow brushes. I have five, or four, and two flat. Because I have some with silver, some with purple, and some with red. Now, um, all these brushes are kind of inexpensive, but I didn't really buy them, so I really don't know. So I came in like this big set with all kinds of sponges and brushes and makeup and stuff that I got from when I was like six, so I kept them because they're really good brushes. So anyways, for the shadows, I'm going to start 
out by using this nice, rich, deep mauve shade or plummy purple. If you don't know what mauve means, it just means basically plummy purple. And I'm going to take this on my Estee Lauder shadow brush and I'm going to apply this just on the lid very lightly. We want to add some color, but we don't want to add too much drama just yet because we want this to be our base shade. So we don't want to add too much drama with the base shade since the uh, rest of the eyes are going to be very dramatic and you want your base shade to be kind of light. So I hope you guys can really see what I'm doing. Um, that's worse. Okay, that's better. Okay, so for let me turn my it's better. Okay, so for the next shade I'm using this pinky purpley shade. And it's like a really pretty purple and I'm going to take this, this is actually a too light of a shade, but I'm just going to take this on the outer third of my lid, gently dragging it in. Now all these products are actually inexpensive, um, so it's a actually a really fun look if you have just a few dollars to buy things and if you don't have these things you can use whatever you have you don't have to go out and buy certain things but then the next thing we're going to be using is this Avon Duo in Violet Voltage it's got super cute colors especially for a vampire or a fairy look for Halloween this one is my favorite by far it's like a dark really rich purpley with a gray sparkle to it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to take that shade and mix it with a little bit of the white purple and take this in the crease. Now this is our light crease base. Then I'm going to take that purple shade all on its own and sweep this over the lids. For defiance and this isn't really a good look this is not really working out well it is it's just taking a little more time so take a flat shading brush or a sponge tip applicator that works and sweep it over the lid that works much 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 better Then take the small side on that and dip it in that dark shade and kind of draw your dark defined crease. And then blend that crease out softly but not too much because you want to keep the drama. Then we're going to add that dark shade that we use as our base shade but this time we're going to amp up the drama by applying it heavily now it doesn't matter if you get a little fallout under your eyes because you won't recognize because vampires don't get much sleep, as I said before um, then for the lower lash line we're going to be using a smaller flat shading brush, or you can use a liner brush. I'm dipping it in a black shade. This is easier than the liner, but we're going to be using liner too. But 
using shadow first helps you create that just that place where you want to put the liner at. Then wing it out from below for that floaty look. Sorry, it was raining outside and it just kind of freaked me out because I kept hearing noises. Alright, so I'm going to take this liner. Line my inner rims. To get the dramatic look. And then just kind of line wherever the shadow was. So that's that. You can even create like a more dramatic crease by applying some liner like this in the crease, just like that, lightly. Create a more defined and sharp, crisp edge. Well, not crisp edge, edge, but kind of like that. For the highlight, we're just going to take this nice silver and apply this on the inner corners and go upwards, like that, going right underneath the socket phone. Then take an icy white and apply this on the brow bone. So yeah, that is the eye shadow and liner. Now for mascara, I'm using my Color Workshop mascara in black. I have no clue how you can get this other than in the beautiful lashes set, which was a limited edition set. Um, so. You can also apply false lashes if you have them. I have them, but I just don't really like the look of false lashes. So, yeah. Next is lips. Um, starting off with this, that dark shade that we use for our eyes, I'm going to use this eyeshadow. as a base for our dark lip color. Now, I'm going to be using this Color Workshop lipstick. This is just like the perfect, be most beautiful color ever. Um, I'm going to be using a lip brush to apply this since we, since it's so dark and we need precision galore. And then just apply it straight from the tube. And I don't have a black lipstick or lip liner. Yet. For Halloween. But I plan on getting one. And this is optional, but if you're going to add gloss, add one that's almost the same shade of your lipstick. I'm using this one from the Color Road Shop. And 
for the official vampirish look, if you want to add some blood or whatever, here's what you can do. Use a dark. Oh my god! I totally forgot. I had a dark lip pencil. Dang it! It's okay. You can take a dark lip pencil and like draw some lines. Since vampires look like they just ate. You don't want it to be perfect. It's going to look fake from coming from me, but... And for shine, to make it look real, add some more of that gloss. Now it doesn't look so fake, does it? Looks perfect. So this is the perfect vampire tutorial if you're going out for Halloween or if you're just going to dress up as a vampire. Um, I would recommend um, making a video, res video response if you do this look. Film it and make a video response or send me a picture if you do this to my email which is chica9392 at gmail.com and I will see you all later and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more tutorials, which I should be doing at least three more tutorials, I have an idea. Barbie, Fairy, and Princess. Tell me which one you guys want the most down below in the comments section and I hope you guys enjoyed this haunting, romantic, and bold tutorial. Bye.